React Native is on a bunch of different platforms now. It's on iOS, it's on Android, it's on web, it's on desktop, Xbox, TV. And since React Native is everywhere now, they just released a new core component called Pressable, which is designed to enable developers to build buttons and other touchables that match the native environment the app is running on. So let's take a look. Let's add the pressable component. So pressable. Um, and we need to import that. Pressable. So add a button. Okay, we'll add some text to our button. Just have it say press me. Press me. Okay, we got our button over here. Let's add some style. So I got some styles already created. Press me. And we'll style the text also. Styles dot text. Big old text. Okay, let's keep count of how many times our button gets pressed. So we'll use state to keep track. Start at zero. On press. Whenever we press the button, we just wanna add one. our count. Okay. Button presses count zero. Let's make that a little easier to see. Okay. So we press the button and it's incrementing. So our button is working. But you'll notice you're not we're not getting any feedback. Whenever I press a button, we wouldn't even know I was pressing it unless we had the counter there. The interesting thing about the pressable component is the state of the interaction is passed to the style. So that way we can adjust the style of the pressed component um, without having to manage that state ourselves. So let's adjust our style to change the background color. And you'll see here our style is just an object, but it can also be a function. So we'll start with pressed. So this is going to be our function. And we'll return an array. So we have our button styles, but we're also going to change the background color. So background color. So if the background is pressed, we want to change the color. Now if we press and hold on the button, the button is pressed and it changes the background color we let go, it's not pressed. Count increases by one, and the background color goes back to what originally was. The other interesting thing is the same state of being pressed or not pressed is passed to the children components. So we could do something interesting like this. Instead of having just the text here, we will have a function. And the function will be passed the value of pressed, which is a boolean. It says whether it's pressed or not. So, so here where it says press me, let's add if it's pressed, then we'll say pressed. And if it's not, then we'll say press me. 
Okay. Press. Oh, it's pressed. There it goes. And we let go. And it goes back. And then the count goes up. 